like I can't wait to for real to be like at the training camp to just figure out uh, like understand my teammates, mm -hmm. understand the game because it's really different mm -hmm. from uh, overseas. So yeah, just uh, we're gonna be a beautiful year. We're gonna we're gonna win some games. <laughs>
uh, I think the case has been pretty well made. This is where our future is. Yeah. Talk a little bit more about the entertainment center, because I know, like you said, athletics is just such a pillar of the community of Norman in particular. You know, it was so important to us growing up here. I remember walking in here at, you know, four, five, six years old. I got pictures mm -hmm. of all these games. Yeah. Um, my grandfather has been, you know, a season ticket holder for 50 plus years. Like this is just in our DNA. Yeah. But talk about this entertainment center though yeah. and what, what, what you think this could potentially bring to Norman. Yeah, but first I'd like to make a confession if that's okay. I, I hate to do this on camera. It's probably the wrong time, but right. I was there when Winston was born. And so, yeah. and his dad and mom are like yeah. family to me. And so all these years he's gone through basketball through AAU ball with you and yeah. at Norman North, they were like, you know, Trey Young is this amazing talent. And I was like, I'll be honest, that's not right. <laughs> I was like, Winston's better than Trey. Yeah. <laughs> and so I picked for years that's the fact love, that Winston, yeah. um, and so that's I've got to awesome. like retract that. It turns out I think you're better than him. Yeah, that's okay. Yeah. You can I don't still think go. So. I don't think so. You still got him. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm not going to be a talent scout, yeah. I think is okay. my deal. Hey, love you and your family. And, and you know, on this question about, you know, why does it matter? I mean, if you look at the investment that you and your family, right, Ray is just absolutely terrific. And what you all have done um, with your family center mm -hmm. out there, it's an investment back in the community that makes people have a chance to lead a better, more fulfilling life. This entertainment district is a good example of that. It's mm -hmm. going to be out there in the same area, $1.2 billion investment but 900 million of that's going to be private investment, mm -hmm. new housing, right? New jobs, uh, more things to do. When you look at those cities that are really thriving and what they're doing, the formula is pretty clear. It's a Sun Belt part of the country. Mm -hmm. It's elite higher education mm -hmm. nearby. It's high scale athletics and it's building a live work play community that people want to come to and stay. So all of it's an ecosystem that works together that allows for greater prosperity. Love that. Well, I'm, I ain't gonna lie. This, I love being able to go back to my team and just being able to talk about how Oklahoma, Oklahoma City is getting be bigger. And I mean, you know, I represent Norman, so being able to, to talk about how the city's growing and getting bigger. I mean, I just want to make sure everybody knows I appreciate you and all the work you put in for. I mean, continuing to make sure our. I mean, the school is. I mean, at the top top notch of everything, and I mean, the city is growing, the stadiums, everything is getting better. So, what is like? your future plans as far as like I see there's more buildings and stuff around campuses like is there like a like a, a new plan coming up in the next the next year for a, a new basketball arena or something like that absolutely like, I know it's a long-winded question no, no, but no, it's, not. it's been on my heart because yeah the Lloyd Lloyd Noble is great um but we're going to the SEC it's too time. we got we got to we got to this gotta entertainment upgrade. district is going to be anchored by a 320 million dollar arena okay. that will house so men's and women's it. basketball Sheesh. it's a centerpiece okay. and um it is bigger than that but that's at the core of it right yeah and um and our teams will play there women's gymnastics men's gymnastics and we win championships like you said in all those sports and, yeah and so like and being in atlanta like i can't wait to to go to y'all i mean whenever y'all are in the sec yeah. and, and georgia and things like that so it's gonna be fun yeah. so and we've already picked out a suite for you you're gonna love it see i'm, I'm excited yeah. oh yeah good no night. it's great though the question you asked though about like is there a big plan i think this is what's driving our success right now is that you know, we've got a master plan. Uh, we launched a strategic plan four years ago. We're refreshing it right now. Our student, a lot of places are getting smaller right now. Our student, mm -hmm. our freshman class is up 20% in the last two mm -hmm. years. Yeah, and we look at it, we're very clear about what we're aspiring to be. The absolute top tier of higher education, the elite group of truly high academics is called the AAU. And it's the top 71 universities in North America, public and private. And that's the brass ring we're going to grab. Uh, four years ago, nobody said it was possible for us. Right now, we're in the conversation. And our goal over the next four or five years, grab that brass ring and make everyone's life better because the research we do and because of the kind of students we mm -hmm. develop. Absolutely. I think that's, that's great. I know you talked about like all the great work President Harris is doing, but... If people do not know President Harris personally, man, it's just, it's been such a pleasure to, to, to know you and watch your growth both professionally and then also personally too with, with your wife and your kids and, and how amazing that is. But in a perfect world, five to 10 years from now, you're looking back on, on some of these, these plans that you've set in motion. Yeah. What's, what's the perfect scenario? Yeah, the perfect think? scenario is we're at about 40,000 students. Uh, we don't want to be bigger than that, but that kind of gets us to scale. 
Uh, we're in the AAU University from a research side. Mm -hmm. uh, the Health Science Center, that academic health system has grown. We lift the health care of all Oklahomans, provide research for the world that improves their lives, and uh, stack up our, uh, you know, uh, do something Patty's done, right? right. We'll stack up mm -hmm. some national championships some in basketball, mm -hmm. um, in football, and across the whole spectrum. We, we put up Patty Gasso statue yesterday, which oh, is man. just so much fun. Legend. So um, I think when you look at it, like, you know, you're already doing it at such a young age. This idea of making a difference in the lives of other people, what you've done with the Young Family Center, I think that's the goal, which is to just make things better mm -hmm. um, and to improve it. When you've got a vehicle like the University of Oklahoma, it it gave my family every opportunity. If you look at, um, you know, I'm here because my dad was first generation, youngest of nine, immigrant family. He had the talent, he had the ability, but he didn't have any money. And yet he was able to come to the University of Oklahoma, both for undergrad mm -hmm. and med school. 26% of our students right now are just like my dad, mm -hmm. first generation. And so to me, what this university has to be is the place of unlimited opportunity where the American dream's real. I love that. Well, I love that. I'm, I know it's, it's a game day and you got a lot of handshakes <laughs> to make and babies to kiss. So I appreciate you to taking a moment and stopping by. It's, it's an honor to have you by and oh, man. To, to, to spread spread some of the word on, on what we, we have now and that's grown and what's going to continue to grow. So. Hey. Could, could I be man. more proud of you? I mean it. Uh, it's an honor to be here. Uh, Winston, love you, buddy. Oh, yeah. um, <laughs> but you guys are, represent the best of the, of the Sooner family. Appreciate you guys a ton. Thank you. Thank, yeah. you. Thank, Thank you. you. Talk to you all soon. Yes, okay. sir. Yes, right. sir. Thank you, sir. See you. Amen. Right. And now we have two very special guests joining us for the, the rest of the podcast. Please welcome my boys. Chase and yep. RJ. Yep. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, RJ in here, so that's late gonna... per usual. <laughs> but you know what I'm saying? He's he's on his own time. Late. He's Always. on his own time. Yo, so honestly, I can't I can't even remember like when did we all meet, to be honest? No, I remember. Let's see if he remembers. Oh yeah. Freshman year. Uh freshman orientation. Walked in, you know, you know me, five three. Yep. Baby face. Yeah, no bounce. <laughs> no, but I just remember my first day at public school, and I didn't really know much about public school system. So, me being at a young age, I was very shy. From the jump, we were we were kicking it. So. Man, I feel. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. Our coach, our coach, made sure the first day <laughs> that me and him met. So, shout out, Coach Merritt. Shout out, Coach Merritt. First day, made sure me and Dang. him met. Me and you met a little earlier. In yeah, the eighth it was grade. what, like eighth, yeah, eighth grade summer. Eighth grade summer playing, yeah. but Chase. Man, I was weak. Wow. I was weak. I mean, listen, I, I'm, I'm not one to, to sit up here and lie. No, you wasn't weak. I, I got better. I got way better. Freshman year, I was weak, though. Yeah. No, you got better, but that's just part of the game. Everybody gets better. Yeah. You know yeah at least saying? you were 6'5". True. Not 5'3". <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, he and his girls for after high school. Yeah. Right. right, freshman year of college. 5'5". Five, five. Yeah. It's all right, though. We're here now. Chase, what do you think your favorite memory with Trey is? Man, we've had so many great memories, but I feel like one of the great memories during high school, Wednesday nights, go to church with the mm -hmm. guys. Yep. Um, go to FCA after. That yeah. was always a good time, and I felt like it was just an opportunity just to grow together as yeah. friends, and now it's just a brotherhood now. Yeah, FCA was great, honestly. Do y'all remember JT? He yep. used to run. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. He, I think he's. I think he still runs OU FCA. FCA. That was my guy, though. No, he's cool. He's still there. No, nah, that's definitely that's a big, big reason why we, we're friends. Obviously, every on Wednesdays, that was fun. Like, it was great, honestly. Going, going there, going to, going to FCA, yeah. going to church. That was like, cause we had a basketball goal. We had a basketball mm -hmm. court. Sure at our did. Church. And so yeah. that was something on Wednesdays. We got to go out and have fun and and be around each other, so that was always a good time. I feel like mine is probably, of us three, Wednesday nights were obviously like such a staple, especially when we could start driving. Yeah. Everybody would pile in each other's car and drive to FCA, or yeah. lunches were probably my favorite though. Oh yeah, oh yeah, but lunch, lunch. Yeah, it was just Clown Central. We weren't allowed to leave freshman year, but no, you know what I'm saying. We still figured That's out. I flexed sophomore. the rules a little bit, I'd say. That but sophomore year, though, we hit yeah. canes a little too much. 
y'all hit Canes too much. I diversified my portfolio <laughs> a little Shout bit. Shout out to Canes. Yeah, yeah that, this is a time we can talk about Canes. I had Canes every day. He came to, to lunch with me every day in, in, instead of the day that he didn't want Canes because I knew I ate Canes every day for lunch. So. I still don't know how you did that. Your arteries must have been screaming for help. <laughs> <laughs> like, That's crazy. Fair enough. Oh, Titus? Oh, my gosh. It's hot out there. Cowboy Rich. <laughs> That's Cowboy Rich. Cowboy Rich showed up. Crazy. Cowboy Rich. <sighs> man. You out of breath, bro? Right. Yeah, man, I just walked six miles. <laughs> <laughs> six miles, but where you walk to? Still Also, water nobody knows you. You got to, like, introduce yourself to everybody. Who are you? We, we, we told everybody. Why are you even up there? there? You're always late. Like... I'm catching my breath, but... <laughs> I'm RJ, you know. I'm probably the the best one out the group that you guys, you know. Y'all would say that, right? Best in what? Basketball, <laughs> football, wow. education. I just yeah. do it all, you know, jack of all trades. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the set, RJ. Uh, fashionably late as per normal, but um, yeah. welcome to the show, bro. I mean, when you look this good with this cowboy hat and these boots, <laughs> you might as well show up late, show everybody what you're wearing. For sure. Yeah. What we were talking about, we were kind of just reminiscing on some of our favorite memories with Trey. We're obviously back in Norman for From the Point Weekend. Mm -hmm. um, just what, what are your favorite memories of, uh, of us of us four, I would say? I know we uh, all haven't known each other mm -hmm. collectively for really long, but... Of us four, probably just in quarantine, we will <laughs> wake up. Same routine. Play basketball. Y'all would blast Drake for about three hours. <laughs> <laughs> Come back in, swim, play the game, and then we'll watch Wallin' Out for about That's all the that rest of the night. <laughs> <laughs> I can probably repeat every every single yeah, thing on there. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie, that was a quarantine. Yeah, that was a crazy time. And you, you guys met what in like early elementary school? Yeah, early like we fourth, met. fifth grade. So this is so he was a PG. So when I when I explained that to everybody that I was on the wing just shooting threes, growing up as a kid, it was because he was the guy. Yeah, just tell him to go get in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> just get in the corner. Basically, yeah, nah, it wasn't nah. Yeah, it wasn't like that. But he had the handles. He was getting everybody set up. He's the he's the guy that was our PG growing up, and so I met him. What, fourth grade? Yeah, fourth. Fourth grade, yeah. and then we played on the same AAU team that year, and then we went to nationals in fifth grade and got number three in the country. Oh, so That's when I knew he was different, though. <laughs> like, we, that was going to be my next question. Is like, when did you know? Like, Everybody uh, has a moment when like they were like, oh, like it was like junior year when he showed back up to high school. I was like, yeah. oh, yeah, he's like Mine was in uh, sixth grade. We was in, he was talking about that nationals that we were playing in. We were down by like three, I think. This man pulls up from the volleyball line, makes it, gets fouled, scores. And then like the next summer, we was playing in uh, Louisiana and he was getting trapped and he nutmegged somebody. And I was like, oh, I always thought I was better. But then in that moment, I was like, ah, <laughs> ah. <laughs> he may have got me. <laughs> he may have got me. Yeah, that's crazy. To be honest, I didn't ever think I was, I'm about to, Gas his head up for a second. I never, I never thought I was better than Rich probably until like maybe sophomore or junior year. You think that now? Oh no, it's not even close. It's oh, not okay. even close now. Right. But I, it's not even close. But what I was you back then. In a, in a cowboy hat though. Yeah. I promise you, we could take this cowboy hat off, <laughs> go over to Lloyd Noble, play some ones, come back, and then you give him the dub. We can talk about the outcome. Wow. Well, thank you guys for pulling up. My this dogs. Appreciate y'all for having yeah. us. It's good. In the cowboy hat. Hey, man. Oh, man. Whiskey. Appreciate it. All right. Our next guest is going to be the man behind our athletics. I mean, he's won athletic director of the year multiple times. I mean, probably the most flashiest and most best dressed AD in America, Always. too. Joe Castiglione. Appreciate you joining us. So good to see you. Yeah. It's great to be with you two. I was uh, uh, talking to your family behind the scenes, and I said, whoa, this is a bit of a full circle moment. Oh, knowing, uh, 
I've had the, the true pleasure and blessing to watch you all grow up, you know, here and, you know, from grade school through high school. And of course, Winston went on to, you know, play in California and we had you for one year mm -hmm. before you know, be a number one draft choice. Yeah. And so it's, uh, it's, it's an honor to be able to continue to have a great relationship with everybody. So thanks for having me on. No, yeah, no. of course. Um, so obviously big game day uh, in Norman. Uh, folks outside, you know, I obviously live in California now. I tell people all the time is, you just gotta come to Norman because you gotta see how we do it. You know, people just don't mm -hmm. know. What, is a, what does a game day routine look like for you? It starts early. Um, yeah, you know, like everybody, get your workout in. And then uh, I do this thing that, uh, and got started many, many years ago, probably three decades ago, that uh, have a game day breakfast. Mm -hmm. And uh, if you indulge me for a second, we're doing something different with it, that um, we're trying to raise money for the uh, OU Food Pantry okay. on campus and the Regional Food Bank. Mm -hmm. And the other part that we, we've started too is we reach out to the opponent that we're playing. So if people hear about it and uh, want to contribute, to their campus food pantry. So we've done you know, Temple Houston and now Tulane, and next week we'll do Tennessee. Mm -hmm. um, so if they have interest in helping locally, that's the way they do it too. But mm -hmm. you know, the reason is, I used to do this kind of crazy breakfast at a diner and everybody would ask like, where are you going, what you mm -hmm. eating? Yeah. And so I just tried to, since it's got a visibility, use it for something really good. And cool. people uh, have no idea what the food insecurity issues are mm -hmm. in our communities. And the food banks are helping in ways that people really don't know. I mean, it, mm -hmm. like a thousand a week, mm -hmm. you know, people. That's yeah. just like unheard of, right. you know, and that may be just one food bank doing mm -hmm. a thousand. So hopefully we're raising some money for that and we're creating some awareness. But so I do that and then I do a walkthrough of the stadium and the grounds where you check in mm -hmm. concessions, mm -hmm. the setups, the cool. gates the tailgates, and then uh, get ready, and then come back over here like three hours before kick, and then go start seeing everybody. Right. I feel like it's a big party, you yeah. know? So oh, I, yeah. I'm just trying to be a good host, oh, you know? Yeah. So. It's been a party for a long time, too. So it's been fun. It's, as you mentioned, yeah. and the tailgating is off the chain oh here. Oh, my gosh. Ridiculous. People, people don't understand what a OU football game is. You gotta really be there to, the, to, to understand how, how live and energetic it is. So what is, what's one exciting thing about joining the SEC that you're looking forward to? I know everybody around Norman is excited, and I mean, obviously, I'm a little jealous. I, I didn't get to play in it. I played in the Big 12, but it was great then, and, but I know everybody here is excited about the things going forward, and every, everything's getting bigger and better in Norman. And so what's, what's the most exciting thing for you about joining the SEC? Well, there's so many different things. You know, I hear from the fans. They're excited to welcome new, mm -hmm. you know, new fan bases mm -hmm. to Norman and uh, then travel to places that they haven't been. Right. So for the fans, they have different you know, ways to describe their excitement. For us, it really goes back to why we did it in the first place. Uh, we had a great history in the Big 8 and Big 12. Mm -hmm. uh, it wasn't throwing any shade on anybody or anything that's disrespectful. We just saw the way college athletics was moving you know, way back before we, people are seeing it now. Mm -hmm and what was best for Oklahoma and its long-term uh, success. And so navigating that whole thing, and then now for us, you know, going into the conference was a year earlier than maybe we projected mm -hmm. when we did announce our membership. But the fun has been in the journey of getting ready mm -hmm. and looking forward to the competition. Right. Um, in spite of what people think, as good as, you know, we've had, you know, a really great run in the Big 8, Big 12, the Big 12 is not the same as it was when we were in it traditionally either. Mm -hmm. And um, the move here, uh, we just have more universities that are much like us. They're more regional. Mm -hmm. You know, we, uh, you know, the footprint of the SEC has expanded, yes, but at least the state of Oklahoma is contiguous to um, states that have other SEC member institutions. You're not flying over other states just yeah. to get to right. the competition that you're facing. Still and and you know, the fan bases are just as active as OU's, you yeah, know, so true. all of those kinds of things have really, um, really been what we look forward to. And as you guys who played the game know that it is special, you know, to mm -hmm. have that kind of special. competition and then the recruiting that's come along with it. Absolutely. I live in Atlanta, so I'm looking forward to seeing us in the, in the SEC championship year after year, just like we ran the Big 12. So, 
And then, I mean, obviously, I be having to support, obviously, Georgia, too. So it's like, now I got y'all coming to Athens and going back and forth. It's going to be fun. I, I, it's a big football fan base in the SEC that I've had to be I've kind of sunk into in Atlanta. So it's, it's really cool that us in Oklahoma, like we're back in it too, and it's it's going to be exciting. So I'm I'm looking forward to seeing everybody come out. Well, we'll pull you over when we can to a game here and there if your oh, schedule yeah. works out. No. And you've always been great. You know, when we've played over there and whatever um, contest, uh, even in during the season when we were over in Columbia, South Carolina, you yeah. came over for the yeah. NCAA yeah. tournament game. Yeah. So, yeah, it, and it's fun. And actually, I, I got to believe that whether it's your own teammates or people that you're in, you know, mm -hmm. close by. They're Georgia grads, sure, but Florida, Auburn, Alabama, yeah. Kentucky, Tennessee, they're, you know, they're all mixed in that yes, you know, nice. big market like that, and it's great to be able to raise the OU banner. You know, some days Absolutely. it's going to be tough. We don't win every hey. game, but the other parts you make you proud as an alum. Oh, you yeah. ride the highs and lows of the family. Man, we're, we're so excited. We're so excited to be in the SEC. Thank you so much for stopping by, though. We really appreciate it. We've been both Trey and I have been such a fan of yours. Hey, Winston, yep. I got one more question. Got you. Before you got to go, I know you got a lot, of, lot to do today on game days. I was never a part of the NIL deals and things like that. I want to know how it is being the best AD in America with all the, the NILs and the, the adjustment to the NCAA period. How is it? Is it easier? Is it harder for you? I know you're, I mean, obviously you're adjustable to anything, but how's it been for you? Well, I'd be disingenuous if I didn't say it was um, very challenging, mm -hmm. except for one thing. That when I got into this business, the one thing that connected for me was what I wanted to do and my purpose. And my purpose has always been, what can I do in whatever role I had? And of course, now 31 years as an athletic director, uh, my 27th year here, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I had uh, five over at, at uh, Missouri, but is what can I do to put athletes in the best position to be successful? Mm -hmm. Going back to the earliest days. So even though we've had this massive change in our industry and mm -hmm. trying to make it all work, whether it's financially, getting people to get more comfortable with getting involved, you know, it's fundraising, it's business, it's putting athletes together, with entities so you can develop, you know, co-branding, you know, mm -hmm. for the athlete and the business. Mm -hmm. Whatever of those um, mixes have been, um, it's a lot because you're trying to get people to understand mm -hmm. this is the new world. And if you mm -hmm. want to fight it, you're only going to lose. Mm -hmm. You've got to embrace the change. So embrace, embrace the change. And within the rules, be as bold and forward thinking as you can Absolutely. be. Absolutely. Um, now, you don't always get the cooperation out there yeah, that you yeah. want, so that makes it part mm -hmm. of the challenge. I've embraced it from day one. Why? It goes back to my purpose. When you were here, how could I help you be mm -hmm. successful? And it, of course, you have coaches, you know, you're, they're there technically, but behind the scenes, what resources can I get for players? What can they do to feel like this is an experience of a lifetime? And, it didn't matter, on the court, off the court, you felt supported. Where you're going in the future, you felt like you're getting prepared. Mm -hmm. I just look at this as another way to do that. And mm -hmm. um, when they come through Oklahoma, that they look back at your experience and say, you know what, that was the best thing for me. I can't imagine going anywhere else. I love it, and it's made helped make me the best version of myself. So that's when I look back to those kind of things. Yeah. That's what drives me. Well, that's, I mean, that's how I feel. That's how I felt about Oklahoma. You made that welcome in for me so the next 25 years I know that purpose isn't going to change and we're going to continue to be at the top and win championships and all these sports and I appreciate you for coming by and, and making making some time for us today and, and giving us some knowledge so oh, this is great Trey, thank you so thank much you for, for sure. you know, being who you are and no. thank you for being the not only the Sooners, but the people that you are. Mm -hmm. no. It's been my honor to be with you for a few minutes today. Yes. We're going we're gonna to go win, so win a game today against two lanes. Yes, yeah. sir. Let's, Let's go get it. over there. This all season, I've been trying to simplify my health routine lately, and i found grooms have made all the difference. They're an all-in-one gummy that cover all my daily nutrients. I'm talking 20-plus vitamins, minerals, and over 60 whole food ingredients. They are gluten-free and have just three grams of added sugar per serving. For those of you like me with kids, grooms just launched their kids line. They have everything your child needs for growth, development, immunity, all in a daily gummy. 
Groons, where serious nutrition meets serious fun. Get up to 45% off by using the code TREY. Our next guest is none other than OU's all-time winningest coach, Coach Bob Stoops. His accolades speak for himself, but he has, he has never had a losing record and led OU to a bowl game in all 18 seasons. He's led the Sooners to a national championship in 2000. Coach Stoops, from myself, from Trey, welcome to From the Point. Hey, this good to great. be here with you guys. Oh, yeah. uh, Drake and Isaac's former teammates. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, uh, uh, Winston here, my neighbor, Yep. for a long time. Long time. I don't know how many years. Long but, time. Uh, no, no uh, uh, Trey as well for a long time, and your dad and I talk all the time. So mm -hmm. uh, good to be here with you yeah. guys. I I appreciate you spending spending a little bit of time. What is uh, you've done a lot of winning over your career. I I know it's hard to pick one, but what is what is one season that you just remember most? Whether it was from how how tough it was to how it ended great, or what was one one year that you just remember out of all your winning seasons? That's a good question. It's easy to say the national championship 2000, mm -hmm. or I, I think one of the biggest ones was 2006. We have to remove our starting quarterback from the team the opening day of practice for doing things, you know, that weren't, you know, wouldn't be, it'd, it'd be proper to t today with NIL, but mm -hmm. it wasn't a deal then. Right. Mm -hmm. And uh, we have to move Paul Thompson, our receiver, we, who had been a quarterback, back to quarterback, and I asked him, I said, Paul, if this doesn't, if you're not really good about this, you feel good about it, it isn't going to work. So don't do it. I said, I want you to go talk to your parents, come back tomorrow and talk to me about it. And he talked to his parents and he came back because he felt his opportunity in the NFL would have been as a receiver, right. Paul Thompson, great mm -hmm. athlete. And he came back to me the next day and he said, Coach, if this is best for the team, I'll do it. I'll be the quarterback, and, and that's what I'll do. And I did talk to my parents. His parents never called me, which you love that. Mm -hmm. Let the guy do, be, be his own man, you know. You probably don't get that often. No, but <laughs> in today's world, but right. that's, that's parents letting a young man start to grow as a young man. Come yeah. talk to me about it. And Anyway, then we, uh, we go on and win the Big 12 championship in 2006, mm -hmm. beat Nebraska mm -hmm. for the Big 12 championship. 21 to 7. We lose, end up losing the, the famous game everyone talks about, Boise State in the mm -hmm. Fiesta Bowl. Yeah. That would have bothered me a lot more had it been a championship game. Mm -hmm. It's just a bowl game. Yeah. At the end of the day, I know I'd have loved to win, but it, you yeah. know, not the like Fiesta, the Big 12 championship. That was a Fiesta Bowl. Yeah. yeah. When Boise beat us. But mm -hmm. that was a great year because when, when we remove our starting quarterback as you start the season, it's like, wow, well, we'll yeah. see what's going to happen. Right. And Paul had gone all spring as a receiver. He came really back important. as a quarterback and did an incredible job for us. Was yeah. a, was great. But that's probably one of my favorite ones. That's yeah. awesome. It would probably be an under-exaggeration to say that you are the epitome of what excellence is at the University of Oklahoma. I think just from your record to what you've given back to the city, the community, the athletic department stepping in as an interim head coach for a while, I just think that the list goes on and on, but I don't think there's anybody more equipped to talk about what it takes to maintain a dynasty, a winning culture at, at OU football. Well, what are, what are some yeah. things that you, know, you instilled throughout the years that you were here that just kind of championed that, that winning culture yeah, here? Well, thank you, Winston, for the positives mm -hmm. of, I, I was supported by a great administration, mm -hmm. great players, and, uh, and coaches, you know, so none of us, especially in football, I think, do it alone. I think the, the biggest thing we did is uh, fought complacency. That just because I recruited you to a great program doesn't mean you're a great player. Mm -hmm. And just because we did it last year doesn't mean you're entitled to do it again this mm -hmm. year. I think there's, that can happen. And I fought that all the time. That Last year was last year. Mm -hmm. It's gone. It's done. It's over. You guys are a new group. Mm -hmm. So we haven't earned anything yet. Mm -hmm. Now, a few guys that may be three-year starters or whatever, but 
even them, they, you got to project down to everybody else. This is a whole new year. Mm -hmm. I don't want to hear, this is what we've done all these years. Well, that doesn't mean you're going to do it, mm -hmm. you know? So it was, it was that. Um, mm -hmm. I think we really projected that in the off season through the year that just because it happened before doesn't mean it's going to happen again. Mm -hmm. You got to earn your way. You got to earn championships and you got to earn every win you get. Mm -hmm. and, and that's the truth. I've, uh, so I, I, I've asked President and I've asked Josie this question. We, you've been a part of the Big 12 and Big 8. What do you think about the, this, us coming into the SEC? I mean, what's the most exciting thing? Obviously, as a fan now of the university, what do you think is the most exciting part? We live in Norman. Um, we see how big the city is getting. Like, how, like, what's the most exciting thing for you about us joining the SEC? The schedule. Mm -hmm. We have Tennessee coming. Yeah. You don't think this place will be on fire? Rocking. And then Alabama late in the year and all the other teams. It's, it's important. These are big games. I just really believe financially as a university, as an athletic department, this is the only responsible thing to do. Mm -hmm. You have a 85,000 seat stadium, sky boxes, whatever. They're not interested in seeing us play small schools. Mm -hmm. They want to see us play the best people in the country. Mm -hmm. And uh, so that's one. And two, I think it's going to help us recruit. I, I believe it already has. I get we have to win and establish ourselves in this conference to, mm -hmm. to keep it up. But as we do, and I believe we will, it's going to, it, the recruiting will continue to pick up. Mm -hmm. So... We've been in, I don't know, what, four playoff games. We hadn't won one. Mm -hmm. yeah. But I believe we're, we've been a few players short, whether it be defensively, offensively, to, in recruiting, mm -hmm. to help us now be able to win those playoff games. Mm -hmm. And that's what we're after. And so all of it together, I think, is absolutely the right thing to do. You mentioned it earlier. We played with Drake and Isaac, your sons. Um, now you have Drake, who's obviously in the NFL. Um, making his journey and through that. What's it been like watching him excel and, and playing here at OU and then now he's about to achieve his dream and playing in the NFL? What's it like being a dad it, on that side? It's been awesome. I just, uh, I love it uh, for him. I don't need it. Like some parents, I think, mm -hmm. try and live vicariously yeah. through their children. And I'm not that guy. I, I had mm -hmm. a good college career. I had fun. I did my deal. But and here's what matters to me. To this day, some of my very best friends are the guys I played with. Mm -hmm. So I'm glad he has that, guys like you. Mm -hmm. and, and now, you know, another team and to be able to continue it. And he's probably a lot like you, Trey, in that he's thought of nothing else. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like people ask me, what's he going to do if, if this doesn't happen for him? I said, he has no idea. He hasn't, yeah, right. that, that has never yeah. been an option. So, uh, so I'm just happy for him that he can, gets an opportunity to continue. And as you know, and, and even he, as he continues, he's going to develop being mm -hmm. around that kind of competition, being around the skilled players like Cooper Cup and, you know, Puka Nakua, those, those kind of guys. Mm -hmm. Naturally, he's with them every day. You learn. Mm -hmm. and you grow and you keep getting better so hopefully hopefully that'll happen for him that's that's amazing and uh, so f for me i appreciate you everything you you ins inspired me as growing up watching sam bradford demarco murray as a kid <laughs> mm. i've been a fan so uh you you've changed the community here in norman i, I continue wanting to do that too and Appreciate you stopping you, you've by. You've done a lot for the community. Yes, and with, with your center, that's incredible. So well, I appreciate Winston loves seeing time. you too, oh, buddy. My neighbor, man. how about man. that? <laughs> Love you guys. So good to be with you. Thanks yes, so sir. much. Thank you. What's up, y'all? I'm very excited to have my guy, my new rookie, the number one pick, all the way from France. He's here in Norman, Oklahoma with me. About to go to his first football game. We're about to have a great day. Zach Risache, is that how I said? Yeah. I got I got the little tongue. Oh, Risache, yeah. the, the little accent with it. Okay, how you doing, bro? You, you enjoying your your day? I mean, we just getting it started. It's, it's game day. I, are you looking forward to your first your first football game? 
yeah, just discover the, the sports actually. Yeah. I've never been with like I would my first time for real, so I I like I watch uh, some highlights and everything, mm -hmm. but that's not the same. Yeah. I'm looking like for I heard there is a like a lot of people, good crowd, so mm -hmm. that's definitely gonna be a amazing experience. No. What uh what what sports obviously soccer, global football is obviously the biggest sport in Europe, but are you a are you a PSG fan? Are you what 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 who's your team in Europe? Um actually I like I'm basketball fan. Okay. I love, love it. Okay. I okay. love what okay. I do. Yeah. And uh mm -hmm. but yeah, if I gotta pick one soccer team, yeah. obviously I would choose like the the one from my city, okay. Olympique Lyonnais. Okay. That's just the the team that I follow through uh, what, what, what I was growing, yep. you know. But that that's it. I'm a basketball fan yeah. and love out the game first. You know? Love. <laughs> that's love cool. That. Have you, like, is your family, like, do you come from, like, a, a big basketball family? Like, yeah. Something? So um, my, fa my father played professional overseas for 20 years. So, like, wh when I was born, uh, basketball was already there, you know. Mm -hmm. So... I was in the gym at his practices, at his game, when I was like at a really young, mm -hmm. young age, and uh, I, like at a really young age, I, I wanted to do like him, you know, mm -hmm. and uh, be around him, and uh, I wanted to be on the court with him. Yeah. Like, yeah, you know, you want to you want to be like daddy mm -hmm. when you you're young, mm -hmm. and uh, that's what you know, pu pushing me uh, while I was growing. And uh, obviously, he was already there. Like, he always been there for training. Like, had me to be the best, uh, the best version of myself. So, it was dope, you know, to having like someone who knows the game, who knows like the world of basketball, because it's like it's special, you know. And mm -hmm. uh, and yeah, just walking out like I already knew how to be pro before. I was a pro, you know, mm -hmm. because because of him, and uh, yeah, I own I own him a lot, you know. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you're mm -hmm. number one pick for a reason. I don't want to talk too much about basketball today. I'm gonna have you come back on the the pod again. Um, but my last question, obviously, about about ball. We're about to go back to Atlanta Sunday, and uh, what's your what's your one thing you're you're looking forward to this year as a as a you don't know what to expect this year going into the season. What's the yeah. one thing you're looking forward to, just blindly? Yeah, I'm trying to win. Like that's that's how I find like joy playing. You know, uh, it's just about winning game and uh, like I say, trying to be the best version of myself. And I know with that like mindset, like that's gonna adjust perfectly to the team and. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, just trying to win some games and uh, be efficient, mm -hmm. and uh, like I can't wait to for real to be like at the training camp to just figure out, uh, like, understand my teammates, mm -hmm. understand the game because it's really different from mm -hmm. uh, overseas. So yeah, just uh, it's gonna be a beautiful year. We're gonna we're gonna win some games. Mm -hmm. There is like every season there is up, uh, some up, ups and downs, but. I know how I am, and I can't wait you know, to yeah. discover everybody around me. So make sure we are on the same page. But I'm not worried about that. Like yeah. I know it's gonna be amazing. It's gonna be smooth. We're gonna yeah. enjoy it. It's gonna be fun. Yeah. It's how was uh? So take us back to draft night. You're you you know that your or your name ends up getting called number one okay. overall. I I just couldn't even imagine. Like how did you how did you feel? What what was that moment like for you hearing your name called very first in the draft? Mm. It was special, I ain't gonna lie, that was like a special feeling. Uh, like, y'all can imagine how it is, but for, to be honest, uh, I didn't realize like right away. I was just too worried about getting on the stage, <laughs> shaking their hands, right. uh, and then there is like so much media stuff right away. Mm -hmm. So I was like, trying to, and especially in English, like, I didn't know how to feel, how to express myself in French, because how big it was. Right. And I was on, 
ESPN and everything, trying to explain myself in English. I was like, fuck, yeah. can I speak <laughs> right now, you know? Yeah. And, uh, and so it's basically like a couple hours before, uh, after, where I joined my family again. Mm -hmm. And then I realized, you know, and uh, all the emotions came through. And uh, like, yeah, basically realized two hours yeah. uh, after. And it was like crazy feeling couldn't stop crying mm -hmm. and uh, yeah, mama, I will never forget this one. Man, that's big time. I got yeah. a question for you. Yeah. How's the transition been like coming to the States for you? Mm. It, w it was cool. Um, mm. It's way different. Like the culture is different. Yeah. Uh, talking about like basketball, but also mm. in life. Yeah. Um, all the like paper stuff, mm. like visa, mm. social, social security number. Oh, yeah. 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 Man, that, that, that is crazy. <laughs> it's confusing. Got, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> got to get that, my Georgia license. Yeah. All right. Yeah. And uh, so, yeah, try finding an appointment. Mm. So, yeah, just a big adjustment. Yep. But, I mean, we, like, in the NBA, it's like, especially with, uh, like, the Oaks organization, mm. it's, such a great organization right. and everything was perfectly set up for me to, you know, like be smooth out there and uh, and I like really appreciate what people does around me, you know, to mm. make sure I'm a, uh, I can like, I can just focus in on yeah. basketball, yeah. you know, so it's all, but like it's hard to adjust, but there is a like a ton of people around me to make sure I'm, I'm, I'm okay and I'm good and uh, you know, so yeah that's that's special for me you know and then what about food like what's your what's the first like what's the American food Great that you've question. been, been um, eating I, yeah. I really like like steakhouse for real okay okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah. okay so how you get your steak though that'll tell a lot about a person medium my okay. Man. Yeah, my I'm from man. France. Right? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah. Right. Perfect. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah. That's what's up. The, <laughs> the food. <laughs> so, so steak is what you, what you had. You ain't had uh, canes. Oh my God. <laughs> Have you had canes? Yet? Yeah, I did. Yeah. What you think? Man, it's dope. Well, just know yeah. on the road. You had the reaction I wanted. Y'all gonna be <laughs> what? Canes. I'm gonna, I'm gonna find yeah. the canes. Yeah. Y'all gonna find the canes after the games. Every you know city, cities? every yeah. city. You go yeah. ahead in Portland. You go ahead into New Orleans. <laughs> yeah. Can't, Can't wait. KC. Can't wait. But, uh, <laughs> but nah, man. I appreciate you coming by. We about to have a blast today at this game, yeah. and uh, you about to experience your first football game. Once you enjoy it, it ain't nothing like Oklahoma football. So yeah. um, it's a few places that that is loud, but it ain't like this. So. It's, uh, it's going to be fun, and I can't wait to bring you over there. Yeah. Appreciate you coming by, man. For sure, for sure. Thanks yeah. for the invitation. You're going to have a great season. I really appreciate that. You're going to have a great season. You're going to have an unbelievable career. This is just a start. Can't wait to, to play and have some, have some fun this year, yes, bro. Yes, sir. It's going to be fun. Yes, sir.